Hey guys, episode 36, Football Manager 20. Welcome back. Good to see you. And uh, we only played a couple of matches since last episode. Uh, we did get a 2-0 win over Blackburn. Nathan McGinley and Joe Morrell with goals in the first half. Preston, we had a collapse. Craig Mitchell had a brace uh, early in the first half. Put us up 2-0. Uh, gave up a penalty and a second half goal to Billy Bowden. And then Josh Earl got the game winner in the 70th minute as we uh, fall Three goals to two to Preston after beating them in the FA Cup fifth round by the same score. So, go figure. Today we're playing Newcastle, and because, like we talked about last episode, we're in 12th. I don't think we're going to make the playoffs this year, so I'm ready to cut bait on this season. We're going to do uh, Newcastle. I'm going to go play the rest of the games off camera. We'll come back for Fulham. Unless somehow or other we go on a run and are in the running for a playoff position. That'll change things. But uh, that's the plan is to come back for Fulham, kind of hit the highlights of those games, and uh, call this season done because I'm, I'm about done with it. <laughs> so uh, we are getting close. Uh, if we take a look at the release date for... FM21, that's supposed to be dropping, what, November 24th on a Tuesday? So that means the beta will come out on, on or around November 10th, because usually it's about two weeks earlier. So we're coming up on about five weeks. We're right at about five weeks left uh, in the lifespan for FM20. As I noted last time, I don't leave a series hanging. We will finish out whatever season we're currently in. Uh, let's take a quick look at me. So uh, I've only had the one job. I've been here for 1,363 days, won six awards, uh, just over three quarters of a million dollars in career earnings. Uh, let's see. I do vacation between matches uh, just to get through it. Uh, I don't. I, I hate finger clicking, so I do go on vacation. You know, let my assistant handle training. Uh, we bought forty-five players, uh, valued at five and a quarter million dollars. We've sold thirty-two for seven point two five million. Highest fee was one point three for Daniel Hart. Highest fee received was 1.4 for C.J. Egan Riley, and both of those happened uh, this past offseason. Uh, total fees to agents, 550000 I've released 10 players. We played 209 games. We've won 111, 54 draws, 44 losses, 372 goals, 4, 210 against, a plus 162 goal differential, uh, we have not been relegated. We've had two promotions, one league win, but no cups. And, uh, yep, and that's overall because we've only played for one side. So there you go. Uh, anything else on there? Don't really think there's anything to, else to look at. Uh, let's see. Best relationships. So we're very close, mostly with players. Connor O'Malley, former goalkeeper. Jack Aitchinson, he was uh, our veteran leader on the first club we had. Uh, woo, Backinson, I haven't heard that name in quite a while. Kai Kennedy, Ibu Adams out on loan currently. Ida, anyway. And uh, profile, so there's our ratings. Uh, goalkeeper, we, we, we know nothing about goalkeeping evidently. Uh, we are up to 19 for youngster, 12s, 15s. I think adaptability is broken. I don't see anybody's adaptability go up. Loki, Lelujo, anytime they show this. And Loki talks about that all the time. Currently 34 years old, three-star potential, making $286,000 a year. We've already seen that information, but I wanted you to see uh, this. And we already looked at that field as well. This is on the opposite end. Uh, Lloyd James, Daniel Bradshaw, a couple of players. Doyle Grubb, a head coach, currently out of work, doesn't like us. Who did he coach for? Oh, well, he's a coach now because he retired. 
Oh, he played for us. Why doesn't he like me? He was my vice captain. Come on, man. What's your problem? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, but he is a coach now. Not a very good one. Yeah, he could be a he could be a lower league scout. But yeah, I don't I don't know about coaching. But uh, hey, good luck to you, man. Good luck to you. Thirty one years old might be a little early. But he uh, did not play this season, so nobody picked him up. Fair play. All right, let's go to the team selection. I really don't. I'm really not a fan of that three attacking midfielders. But oh well. Collins will be in this one with uh, Ida out. Ida's uh, nursing an injury. And Ida was called up to his national team. Might have been the U21s, but... Uh, he did get called up for international duty. Let's uh, let's give him a little bit of greenage here because we haven't done, you know, like I said, I only try to do that twice a year, but we've been on pretty rough form. Let's ask for some early creativity as I am wont to do. We are balanced because we are expecting to lose this one. Trying to see if I recognize Jesse Lingard. It's the only name I recognize in there starting 11. All right, Wharton. Into the box and cleared out. Good ball movement. That was not a good pass. All right, they've got a three on three. Now, now we've got some defenders back. Good tackle. Nobody can close on it. Good tackle again. Nice. Cleared out. Oh, look at that ball. That's good up to Mitchell in the zone. He lays it. Oh, man. He needed to lay that back just a little bit. Well, they held it in, but it goes to us. Mitchell... And that was too easy for Woodman. We got to make them pay for those. We've got five shots on target. And that was a good save. That might have gone wide. But they call it on target. Two chances created. We're looking the better side here in the early going. But like right here, it just takes one screw up. And that goes to the wayside very quickly. Actually, pretty evenly matched. Pretty evenly matched. I'm going to be happy with that. We are balanced. Tell you what, I'm going to drop back to cautious. I haven't done that all season, but with the struggles that we have, that is something I have done in the past. All right, Collins is not finding form, but He's, he's on the record, so I'm going to leave him in. Let's bring Vidal on. We have not seen him. Let's bring him on for Craig Mitchell. We just exercised a one-year extension uh, in uh, Mitchell's contract because he's I think he's 19. Yeah, 19. So we just extended his contract. So we've got him on the cheap for a few more years. The coach has told me he's one of our better players. McGinley, can Wharton play? Wharton can, Wharton can play inside. Wharton can play inside. So let's move Wharton in for McGinley, just because he's tiring. And then we can bring Baya on the outside. Let's uh, let's demand more. Wharton immediately picks up a yellow card. All right, we're going to go up to positive here. We're going to try to push. And Collins, I'm going to bring Leighton Stewart on. Demand more. Extra time. All right. We do have quite a few yellow cards to worry about now. I was hoping we could pilfer a goal there at the end. 
All right, Mirez lays it back to Rawson. Oh my God. It's going to be my center back sub. Good save. Good save. All right, let me pop into tactics here real quick. You, I mean, he's got pace. He is 5'11". Let me, yeah, let's make him cover. Let's make Ross and cover. See if we can avoid that happening. We got a little lucky there. Looks like that was going back post. Woodman hauls that one in. Oh, that was a nice little tap hitter out to the to a winger. Oh, great save by Palmer. That kept us in it. Let's tighten up. Headed out. Good job. There's Lingard. That one's headed out. Looks like we might have got on that ball. I don't know if I can make another sub here or not. Mirez. Defensive right. Calbro. He's more of a wing back. I mean, yeah, I don't think that's who I want up there. Actually, he can he can cross the ball well. He is right footed. Let's go with it. Let's go with it before I change my mind. Keep you guys hanging on. All right, we've got a, I don't know if there was a foul and offsides. Over the top, Stewart is into the box, and he puts it in his eighth of the season, and that puts us up. All right, immediately, I want to go into tactics and slow the pace down with our keeper, and we are going to drop back to cautious. We're going to regroup if we lose possession. That way we're not leaving ourselves open to be carved up. Oh, shit. Potential upper body injury? I mean, that's got to be a hell of an upper body injury. I, I, yay, yay. Uh, Mirez, center, center. Joe Morrell can play... We'll drop him back, and I'm going to make him, we'll do that, Rawson, Mirez, no-nonsense center back, just clear the ball. I, I'm not going to be able to make the sub, yeah, so he's just, he's just going to be dead. All right, Daikati. Can Oscar drop back? He can. He can. All right, let's bring him back. And advanced playmaker on support. Now, I don't need two playmakers, do I? So let's make him a box to box. And we're going to drop him on let's make him a defensive winger we're gonna put Vidal on support just more guys more guys back uh, concentrate yep they're not gonna like that and I'm okay with that and we milk it oh my god yeah, we got outplayed. I mean, they. We, I mean, we did. We did a job. We did a job. That's excellent efforts. Excellent efforts. All right. So we deny Newcastle. That's a quarterfinal win. Baya. All right. We're gonna send him to a specialist. What happened to him? Fractured ribs. Ouch. And we get a million dollars for that. That's that's big. That's big. I wonder if we can 
Youth facilities have been done. Can we improve training facilities again? Good. All right, so we won't push that. That'll start today, and it'll be done early next season before uh, early October. So good. All right, so we'll spend a little bit of that money that we just got and a little more. <laughs> All right, so interesting. Well, I tell you what, we will definitely be back for the FA Cup semifinal in just a minute. Well, a minute for you. I've got three matches to go play. Wanted to come back for a quick highlight here. This is in the QPR game, 53rd minute, scoreless affair. Vidal has just picked up the ball on the left wing, loses it. Collins from the edge of the box, and there's the record setter. That is goal number 60, and that is the new uh, career mark for Forest Green Rover players. So wanted you to see that. We have a couple of guys that are really getting tired, and uh, we just had our annual, uh, our, tri our national trial day. So we're going to bring all these guys in on trial for two weeks, and we'll see how many of them accept, and those will be our, our next youth intake because <laughs> that's how we get our youth players. All right, we'll be back when, we have some, uh, when we're ready for the next match. So a little bit to catch up on here real quick. So we beat QPR 2-0. We showed you the goal from Aaron Collins that set the record for the club. We lost 1-0 to Reading. Uh, just, yeah, I don't know. So inconsistent this season. And then we beat Petersboro 4-0. Oscar with two goals. Joe Morell with a goal. And Aaron Collins adds another to his tally. Now at 61. Uh, also, uh, this was our first home match in our new home stadium. And I believe 199 away. So the new Forest Lawn, 7710 with 4,570 seated. So we have moved back in immediately, which was too bad because if you look, the last match we had against QPR drew over 11,000, and the FA Cup quarterfinal was 12,700. Uh, we could have used the extra seats uh, in, in the rest of the season. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do? The the grounds are done. We, we're back home for the home stretch. Four matches left. We're playing Norwich today. Uh, Norwich currently in 16th, is that right, in the Premier League? I swear that green is the worst color, and I can't see the print. It's so small. <laughs> my old eyes can't can't literally I cannot I cannot read this on that background I have no idea what it says uh, but anyway uh, but Norwich we're playing them today we have done a little bit of business uh, you can see we've uh, brought in we brought in all those youngsters that were released we've offered contracts we've signed four of them so we'll take a look at them Rob Clark uh, is a goalkeeper joining Forrest Green, and I guess we can pop in. He's actually pretty decent already. Uh, very good handling, kicking one-on-ones, decent passer, so he could be a sweeper keeper. Uh, in fact, that's his natural command of areas of 12. Eccentricity is very low, and currently he would be third in our depth chart, but he's got four-star potential. Uh, only 18, so a little time to mature. Uh, and he comes out of the Man United system. Adam Dell uh, is joining us. He was released by Liverpool. And if we take a look at him, two-star two current, three-star with possible up to four-and-a-half-star potential. Uh, he'll be joining us. He's a center back. Very good defensively. Lacks a little bit in pace. Uh, so not sure how I feel about that, but he's only 18. Figure we could see if he would develop. We're getting him on a free. Worst case, we sell him on for a, pro a small profit. Jackie Moore, another 18-year-old. Uh, he comes to us from the Man City system, who we like to raid those guys. And he is a winger on the left side, left only. Uh, very good physicals, good crosser of the ball. He can dribble. 
Uh, decent passing, I mean, you know, for this level. So just more more young depth. Blake Morrell, uh, another Liverpool release, uh, is going to be joining us. And he is he could play all across uh, the top, but he is right-footed only. Pretty good physicals. Again, good crossing, average passing, average off the ball. More good depth for us. He's only 17. And we've loaned out Lucas Talbro to FC Lottie. That's the only uh, we did make that. We got a we got a middle of the blue transfer window. And development center, we had our youngsters come in. So these are the guys we have not signed. Not much in the way of talent. If we take a look at our under 18s and sort by age. Uh, we do have a few new 16-year-olds coming in. Uh, now that they're in the squad, only John Cleverly looks decent. Uh, 16 years old, three and a half star potential. I really just signed uh, most of the guys for depth. There's there's not a whole lot there. We had a few other guys. Don't know where they went because these guys are all under. Okay, this guy, Christian Perez, he's another 16-year-old, three-star potential. Oh, okay, there they are. They're the three guys in white. Uh, David Cotton, a center back, three-and-a-half-star potential. Nothing great about these guys. He's missing a lot of pace, but he does have good acceleration to get up to speed, so that could be decent. Uh, we have an American. I had to sign him because he was American, but if he wouldn't have been halfway decent, um, hopefully his finishing comes around, uh, passing is decent. So maybe he could play that number 10 and, uh, he does have some pace. So maybe we'd retrain him into that midfield role. Uh, I don't see him being a striker and cleverly if he doesn't up his finishing, uh, he does have crossing. He likely, uh, transitions out to that left wing side. So that's what I see for those guys. Not going to sign any of the other youngsters. Uh, but let's get to today's match with Norwich, and this is in the FA Cup, and we are underdogs at home. It would be nice to have that uh, to have that uh, bigger crowd here because I think we're going to have a sellout today. I have brought in a new tactic. Uh, it's one I've used before. I don't have enough. I, they can't pass good enough to be ball playing defenders. So White's back from his injury. Uh, Collins is in, so we're still missing McGinnis. Uh, Miras is suspended, and Ida is ineligible to play against his parent club, so that's disappointing. Craig Mitchell is still out. Uh, he'll be back to training tomorrow. Uh, do I want to bring him in? Maybe so. Who do I want to get rid of? Daniel Hart. You know what? I want Hart to start for Elliott. Elliot's in there. Diacotti, Stewart, Ball, Kiko, Henry. Yeah, let's bring Odane Henry. We called him up from the uh, the U23s, and let's put Carucci in there. He's showing a little potential, so we've brought him up to the senior club. Just on, you know, he can he can fill some depth. He can play a lot of positions. And can we surprise Norwich? I doubt it. And was he off sides? No, and he gets his very first goal of the season. I think that's the one thing that aggravates me more than anything else is when you see guys get, I thought he was off sides. Oh, well. Uh, you know, when they get their first goal of the season, And it's uh, so late in the year. That's just completely disheartening. All right, that one's headed out, and it goes right to Eze, and that's his second goal of the season, a three-minute double by Norwich. Uh, let's uh, maybe we scrap this tactic. Actually, I think, yeah, you know what? Let's uh, let's go there. Wow. 
And we're going to go back to balanced. All right, Baya. Into the box. Collins. It's headed away. Powerful shot. Palmer stops it. Williams with the control. Let's give a shout for creativity. Be nice to start seeing some shots. That would be uh, appreciated, guys. Show some passion. All right. Three shots, but we're still looking for our first on target. All right, Palmer with a good save. I was thinking he might be too far out of the box, and that was going to go just over his head. Hmm. All right, McGinley. All right, some good one-two passing there. Back into the middle to White. He finds Hart on the right side. Crossed in. And a little block. I was a little unlucky. They were stacked right on top of each other. Stolen away. Good job. And kicks it right to the other team. I would like them not to do that, if at all possible. Just, yeah, you know, if that's possible. Oh, there we go. Nice ball. Collins is on it. Into the box, and he slots it home. All right, that's his 15th of the season. That'll be a bonus for him. And he just adds to his career tally. I think that's 62 now. Come on, boys. Oh, good block. Get to it. Nice ball. Collins beats his man. Now he's on a break. Cuts it in, and he equalizes. Oh, that is huge. I'm going to jump up to positive here. Showing some heart. Showing some heart. Yeah, we have come back into this. Two on target. Dressing room. I think we're good there. I'm going to drop back to balanced. Just to keep it keep it there uh, I'm gonna praise him here all right a nice header down he sails it all right they're overwhelmed by the praise sorry about that guys didn't mean to freak you out I think you've done a good job to get back into this one good tackle Collins gets to it lays it back to McGinley plays it all the way back to Palmer let's his reset all right, there's Rawson. It's funny, I think Rawson's our best defender, and I keep getting told to extend his contract, and then it says to cut him back from uh, a regular starter to a fringe player. <laughs> All right, there's a nice ball out to Hart. Stolen away, that's not so good. Oh, come on. Uh, I think that was Rawson that got beat there. Damn, Nation. All right, we're going to have to go back up to positive. I mean, if we lose, I mean, we're on borrowed time, right? Let's make a sub real quick. Uh, Vidal is not playing well. Let's bring on uh, Krause. Nico Williams. Oh, Harvey Elliott for Daniel Hart. Let's bring him on. Elliot's deaf. I should have started him. Hart was just out of the match. All right, there's a nice steal. Collins beats his man. And it's tipped wide. He's sitting on a hat trick. Demand more. Oh, there's a nice... Oh, come on. Stay on it. Damn it. Who is that? Damn it, Baya. All right. Luckily, our center back closed down on him. 
McGinley looks like a tight thigh. Collins lays it off to Morell. He's up into the attack zone. It's knocked away. Where the hell are you? Hello? I don't think both of y'all need to be pressing the same guy. Just, you know, spread out a little bit. That would be awesome. A couple of good defensive blocks there, but unfortunately not enough on the ball. Oh, that was lucky. That was lucky. All right, we're going to have to go up to attacking here. Uh, we're going to have to push forward, and I think I'm going to have to sub him off. Let's bring Dominic Ball on back there. Come on, boys. Corner. Oh, there was nobody there. Come on. Brooks breaks into the box. Ooh, I was nervous with that slide tackle. All right, we should not have any time wasting at all no uh tempo let's raise tempo let's raise passing come on boys all right there's rawson out to williams back to the keeper there's a ball collins Headed away. And they've got some numbers here. Oh, he just split all of our defenders. Palmer with a great save just to knock it wide. I, I thought that was in. And we just are not getting any highlights here. Nothing. Nothing. God. We played well. We came back into it. I'm not surprised we lost, but still. I will praise them. They played well. In the semifinals, hey, that's that's a pretty good run. We got it one and a quarter million. That should pay for the rest of the training facilities cost. So that's good. McGinley's out one to three days, two goals for Collins. All right, let's take a look at where we are real quick. So there's four matches left. That would winning all four would put us on 74 points. 4, 12, 72 points. No, 74. My math was right. So we would still be eighth position at best. So we're not going to make the playoffs. So I think we're going to call this season done. So let's take a minute, just kind of look at the squad. We've only got one contract expiring, and that's Dominic Ball. Harvey Elliott uh, did not. Uh, we actually got them. Uh, who's he? Where is he from? Liverpool. So Liverpool accepted a loan extension during the transfer window. He rejected it. So we may try to get him back. We may have to look elsewhere. Uh, but everybody else, so we're only losing ball. So if we look at our team report, team depth chart, filter out expiring contracts, trials, and future transfer out, and only look at our senior squad, three-star, and let's go with the 4411 because that seems to be mostly what we play, at least right now. So we've got Ida, Collins, and Stewart up top. I'm comfortable with the striker situation. Uh, he is here for another season, so not going to worry about that. Collins and Oscar uh, rotating in that number 10. So Collins can start some. He can move up top. Uh, Mitchell and McGinnis on the wings because we are losing – uh, the lone guy that we just talked about. We've got White coming back, um, Morrill and Diacati in the center. We've got Wharton and Nico Williams returning on his loan with Ross and McGinley in the center. And no, no goalkeepers there, huh? If we move it up to two stars, then we add uh, Vidal can play up top. 
Vidal and Crouchy come into the wings. Hart on the wing. Ibu Adams, I believe he is going. I believe he's gone at the end of the season. No, he's here for one more year. We're going to try to sell him uh, for sure. And we have some other youngsters. Uh, Kiko's in there. Bobby. Now, this guy's 23. He hasn't played much for us. He hasn't looked great in the Ladbrokes. But he could probably do a job. Just depends on, you know, maybe I keep him and move on. You know, Diakati. I'll, I'll have to look at ages. We are going to try to cut a little dead weight. Uh, Miras will be back here. Uh, his contract, he's here for another year. Talbro. So that gives us depth on the back four. Akinola is out on loan. And he's only 24, and he's decent. So I can see him being in our rotation if we need him there. Dell as well. Baia on the left side. I would like to maybe get another left back. I think that would be a need to play behind Wharton. I didn't like Baia there. He didn't look really great or comfortable. Says he played a 6-9-2, so maybe I'm just off. You know, in the time, you know, when I did see him, he wasn't looking great. Uh, Trafford, Alex Palmer. So Trafford's coming into his own. If we compare him with Palmer, he might, he might be ready to make that step up. And Palmer, maybe we can get some money out of him. Nobody wants him. If if nobody comes in for him, we'll probably call it good and just keep him. But Allowed 42 and 37 this year, 13 shutouts. So he didn't do horribly, and he's 87% passing, but maybe we let Trafford challenge him next year. But it looks like Trafford's definitely going to be uh, the guy. Rob Clark's the new keeper we brought in, and Nicholas Tia, he has got to go this offseason. He is transfer listed, and I need him out of here. Just out of here. You know, at one point he was our backup. But anyway, that's a look at where we're at with that. Finances, we're sitting on five and a half million. We should get a little bit of money. You know, we won't get a lot, but we should get a little bit of money. We've made a million dollars this season with everything else. Uh, debt and loans. So we are paying off the bank loan. We have uh, quite a while for that, 2032. 34000 a month, so that's okay. We do have that gift loan to the chairman for $6.5 million. Uh, transfer debt, $92,882. I don't know what that means. I don't do anything on, you know, as Kev calls it, I don't do anything on the never-never. So I don't know. I don't know what that number is or where it comes from. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. So the squad will be very similar to this next year. Now it's possible that we, you know, we do sell a few players possibly. Looks like Trafford is actually wanted. Oh, he's wanted for loan. He's not listed though. So we're going to keep him. Sheffield United would like Leighton Stewart. I really want to give Leighton some game time it's just with Ida here it's really hard for him to crack in so right now he is our number three option he might be better served going out on loan I do have Odane Henry who could slot in there as our third option he's got some upside let Stewart go out on loan and see if we can get him to develop a little bit with somebody that has better facilities. Although our training facilities are now good, hopefully we will start seeing an increase in our players developing. That would be nice. But Odane Henry, maybe we transfer him out on loan, not sell him, but you know, either him or, or Stewart probably needs to go out to get first team football so uh, I guess you guys uh, will take one last look on uh, goal scoring we've got 21 16 so next episode 
We'll be in the off season. It'll be our transfer special. Uh, what I'll do at the very beginning of that is I'll come back at the end of this season, give you guys the final uh, games, final stats, goal scores, uh, so you guys don't miss anything, even though I'm not going to record another episode. And uh, we'll go from there. So uh, kind of disappointing year, man. Disappointing year. I mean, we did reach the semifinals in the FA Cup. That's huge. Second round, we met expectations. And we made it to the finals of the Friendly Cup, for whatever that's worth. Ida's going to be back, so we'll have goal-scoring threats next year. Collins will be back. Uh, still a very young team, but boy, we had that. We had a big drop-off here, didn't we? But we were only supposed to avoid relegation, and we were actually picked to be relegated, I believe. No, we were picked 16th. So right now we're, we're overperforming preseason expectations. So I guess we can't complain. Last year we knew was a fluke, uh, you know, making it to the finals in the playoffs. We'll, uh, we'll give it another shot next season. So guys, take care, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and thanks so much. Uh, also, ooh, real quick, sorry, I like to do this and I haven't done it recently. Uh, let me look it up. Uh, welcome to Sean Lennon's Rogers. Uh, he came on board a week ago. Ballion came on a week ago. FM Union, welcome. Uh, I, I'm actually a subscriber over on his channel. He's another small-time YouTuber, so give him a check out if uh, you know if you're looking for some more YouTube content. Kobe Hawthorne, uh, he came on board. Welcome to the channel. And I think that's far enough back. I hope I got everybody. If I miss anybody, I apologize. I do try to at least welcome you to the channel. Uh, it's hard. Don't know if you're still here or not. I hope you are. But uh, we're up to 563 subscribers. So thank you very much. I do appreciate it. And I'm just looking to get, uh, you know, the next thing for me is really trying to get just the views up, trying to get uh, you know, to 10 consistent, 10 plus consistent views on each video. Uh, we're edging towards that. Uh, and I would like to see the view time increase as well. Uh, I've got some of my videos that have an average view time of, you know, less than a minute. And I'm like, how do you decide, you know, in less than a minute, if you're going to even like the video, <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, I don't have a problem. I sit through, you know, Loki and Lelugio. I sit through 30 minute episodes. So for those of you guys that are watching full episodes, thank you very much. Um, I'd hate to think that with all the videos that I do, that nobody has ever seen the ending of one. Uh, that, would, that would just like be like mind boggling. Anyway, enough rambling. See you guys next season for transfers. Take care. Bye.